I'm Valerie and I want to give you this gorgeous print by Lucas Durham. So this is the story of, if not the single coolest thing that has happened to me since I started cosplaying Ray, it's way up there. At C2E2 in April, I was approached at the Rebel Legion table by Lucas Durham, who does work for, among other things, Fantasy Flight Games, that does the Star Wars collectible card game and the Star Wars RPG. And he said, this is going to sound a little weird, but could I get you to pose for me for a minute for a work that I have in mind of Ray? And I said, sure, that sounds like fun. And so literally we went 20 feet away and I spent five minutes sitting on the floor getting, this, getting the pose that he needed for his reference. And it went from there. Now the idea he had, which I fell in love with immediately, was inspired by a painting by Howard Pyle called Marooned. Howard Pyle, if you don't know the name, you may very well know his work, one of the great illustrators from the turn of the century. Uh, his work is collected at the Delaware Art Museum, which coincidentally is also home of the premier pre-Raphaelite collection in America, so I'm very familiar with the museum already, and with their philosophy that illustration and that narrative art, which is very closely related, are not the sort of red-headed stepchildren of the fine arts that sometimes they tend to be treated as, which for me, as someone with a great passion for pre-Raphaelite art, is an attitude that I appreciate. Uh, this particular museum houses uh, several works by Lizzie, which if you have not been on my channel before, I have written a one-woman show about Lizzie Siddle and talk about her extensively. But we're talking about Ray. And on the way to talking about Ray, we're talking about Howard Pyle, who did this illustration in 1909 called Marooned, of a pirate on this desolate island little spit of sand where he has been left by his shipmates as punishment for some violation of the pirate's code. You can imagine for yourself what it is. I actually don't know if it's an illustration for a specific story or a narrative piece in and of itself, but it's a very haunting piece. You may very well have seen it. It's very famous and it's probably pretty clear to tell that it's very influential as in this guy, very clearly, the rum is gone. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Fast forward back to C2E2 2017, and Lucas is explaining his idea is he wants to do an homage to this painting showing Ray on Jakku, but instead of the bright sunlight beating down, it's a nighttime scene, and she's looking up at the stars instead of looking down in despair and waiting for her family, and I just got chills from that description alone and I had that image in my head as I did the pose and like I said it went very quick. I was sitting on the floor, the Rebel Legion table was 20 feet over, over there and it was done like that. And I'm like, oh this, this will be really cool, I'll look forward to it. And then a little bit later Lucas started posting his work in progress images. And first there was this beautiful pencil portrait of Daisy's face because of course I'm posing for the figure reference, not for the face. The Ray is Daisy and always will be. And then he posts another one. And then he posts it, the, the pencil drawing, finished on May the 4th. And it is just the most exquisite work. And this yearning that she has for this family that she doesn't remember and all of the things about that loneliness and about that longing in the character are just in these lines and it's so beautiful. And then he scanned it in and started painting. Now this is a digital painting done or a scan of his hand-drawn illustration and he has over on his YouTube channel a time-lapse of doing the painting, at least part of the process. You can kind of see how that happened too. It's really been fascinating to watch this thing emerge and every time I've seen it more completed it just made me cry. It's so powerful and I'm very very happy. I have two prints of it. They're 11 by 17 prints and uh, this apparently was one of his best sellers recently at Gen Con which you can see why. He has some just amazing work but this one really stands out 
and so I would like to give one to you. So how will this happen? I'm going to keep it very simple. I would like you to comment on this video in the comments below. Say, yes, I would like the print, and then tell me something about what Ray means to you or about what this particular piece of art says to you. I'm not going to be judging what you say itself just as long as you say yes I would like the print and then give me a thought. Your name will be put in the hat. Uh, I will be using those probably as a as a jumping off point for a future video kind of discussing the things that people bring up because I'm sure there'll be some really interesting thoughts. Ray speaks to people for all different kinds of reasons. Um, I am not going to check and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I know that's something a lot of people do. Frankly, it sounds like too much work. But if you have happened across this video and you love Ray and or Star Wars and or illustration narrative art, we should really be talking, so it would be awesome if you did subscribe, because I'm sure you're someone I would like to talk to. On September 30th, I will be posting the video with the drawing of the name of the winner. If your account that you're commenting under does not have a YouTube account attached to it that I can actually respond to you and notify you, or that I can message you that you are the winner, Please leave me some other way to contact you, be it an email, be it uh, your Twitter handle, whatever, so that I can say, hey, I drew your name out of the hat. Um, and I'm going to try to do the drawing live. I have never done a live stream before, so that may not happen, but we'll give it a try. But that will be up by the evening of September 30th, and we will know who it goes to. I'm going to have a link to Lucas's website in the description. You can look at his other work. You can find him at an upcoming convention, buy a print for yourself. Also, he will be out this Saturday, September 9th at Fair Game for a Meet the Artist event and a Kids Star Wars art workshop. I will have a link to that information as well. So let me know what does Ray mean to you and good luck. May the force be with you, and until next time, bye-bye.